You don't really know much about Halloween. And welcome back to another unboxing video. I am Joel of the Newly Deads, and welcome to another episode where this week we are opening uh, a couple of fun things from the Big Bad Toy Store, which if you have ever ordered from them before, you get these nifty little stickers suitable for sticking on your bumper, your laptop, your iPad, your face, wherever you want. And um, incidentally, if, if you're new to the channel and you'd like to know more about myself, my wife, or other stuff that we do, Online and out in the world, please go to thenewlydeads.com. Check out uh, everything that is available there, uh, including our podcast, our television show, our other video content, our two blogs that we write, and any events that we're going to be vending at, because we are both artists, so we also do vending uh, typically at spooky events. But if you're not sure and you have questions about anything on there, you can reach us at contact at thenewlydeads.com. We would be happy to answer them for you. You also can find us on our Facebook page. Just look up The Newly Deads and ignore the band or the movie, and uh, there you go. So um, the things that I got in this last pseudo, it was two pre-orders that kind of became a haul on accident. Uh, they just, you know, I always pre-order things so I don't want to miss out on some stuff anymore. I still like looking in the wild for things, but um, some things I collect to the point that I don't want to miss, so I just go ahead and, and pre-order. So this one was a bit of a question mark, but um, Haya Toys is kind of new on the market, uh, in the at least, I don't know, in the States. And they've been putting out these really nice figures to kind of compete with um, SS Munch Starts and NECA and some of the other uh, figure companies. These, um, I have the Leatherface from Chainsaw Massacre 2022. I've got the bloody version and the regular version of those. These are from the 2003 Michael Bay produced. Uh, variations on them. So this is the Andrew Bernarski, um, I think I said his name right, uh, version of it. There's the regular version, and then there's a bloody one that hasn't been released yet. They're very small figures um, in, in comparison to some of the other ones. They do make larger figures, but uh, these in particular are very detailed for the size. They've got some nice packaging, and they fit nicely on a shelf. I haven't opened any of them yet. The The ones that I've got is the third one I've, I've gotten from Haya Toys. Um, so I'm not quite sure as far as articulation or things like that. I tend to leave a lot of this boxed up. Um, and if I want one that's unboxed, I'll then actually buy a second one. I know, dumb, but what you going to do? It is my life. The next thing that we got, um, we are uh, a pop family. So I have pop figures at work. We have pop figures at home. And because they make so many things that fall into the nerdy... A hierarchy of stuff that we love. I tend to end up getting them because they're fairly inexpensive and they fit nicely in your pocket or your shelf or uh, you know next to your bed or wherever you put your pop toys. Um, so for this one, I couldn't resist a little boy, some uh, tall man from Phantasm. Now, unfortunately, from what I can tell, this is it. We've got just the tall man, Angus Scrim, and all his glory, complete with a uh, one of the the spheres that he uses to murderize people. Um, and so, you know, he's got the the kind of trademarked pseudo rock sort of thing going on. All this was long before the rock was a rock. Um, but I love these movies. Um, they're on the shelf behind me here, all five of them from Don Coscarelli. I also have, uh, at Christmas this year, I got the um, Phantasm Exhumed and the Phantasm Exhumed, the, the new book that is kind of the additional one once Ravager had been released. So I love Phantasm, and uh, I couldn't resist. I don't have any Phantasm-related items. It's the first one I ever got. So if you've seen any of my other unboxing videos for toys, you may have seen my uh, House of a Thousand Corpses collection, which is growing rapidly because of the 20th anniversary. So they have done some reboxing of some of the original figures that I did not get at the time, and they've been re-releasing them in these newer packaging for um, the anniversary, which is what I understand anyway. So first we have Otis. 
Otis Driftwood here, played by the lovely Bill Mosley. And this is from the uh, latter scene when the kids have already been kidnapped, caught, beaten, whatever, and uh, they're taking them out to uh, meet their ultimate fate. So um, if you've seen the film, you are familiar with this particular scene, but you know, these are nicely sculpted figures, pretty uh, screen accurate to the film itself. And I like, they do this here, you know, just like with the Toonie Terrors, they give you the stats on who was involved in terms of uh, the sculpting, the paint, etc. which nowadays is, you know, it's kind of important. And NECA has done a good job. It's like back in the day with comic books, you never always knew who, you didn't always know, I sound like my kid, like you didn't always know um, who the artist was or who, you know, it was kind of more about the company and the characters. And nowadays, you know, you get right down to the, the person that's painted it, which it's, it's, uh, it's, it's nice. It's nice to know that the artists are being recognized for their work. The other one, and the only other thing I've got for this video is uh, the one that I, you know, I can't pass up because I am a huge Spalding collector. We have Captain Spalding and his, uh, when they're showing them through the murder ride, and he slaps on his jacket because his best clown suit and shoes have been ruined by murdering uh, the, the people who were going to rob him. And uh, his friend, him and Ravelli, made quick work of them. So he had to change when the kids showed up to take them on the murder ride. So he's got his, his uh, hot dog, classic hot dog shirt on there that says, if I wanted your opinion, uh, I'd fart or something like that. I forget exactly the wording right now. Um, and then you've got the top hat, and I believe, yeah, this also includes the, the hands that can swap out, which it's a nice figure, and again, very screen accurate to the film if you're familiar with it. Um, I'm just very happy that they've had so much content coming out for the anniversary. There's a better look at the back. And uh, Spalding is what I have the most of. He's actually going to be taking a place here on my sleeve um, here for my birthday. Uh, this is slowly filling up my sketchbook sleeve, as, as my wife calls it. So that is it for this haul. Um, there'll be more coming because I have more things that are pre-ordered that are going to pop up periodically. I just never know when exactly. It's always a rough range. So sometimes it's a bit of a surprise to me as it is to you. All right. Well, that is it for this one, kids. And uh, just remember that tomorrow is not guaranteed. So don't forget to unbox your heart. We'll see you next time. Festival of Sauron. Happy Halloween.